needs to be repotted. <laughs> I just finished filming this page right here and I had some time and I thought you know I just want to do this page here so I went through the scraps that I have in front of me I pulled out these little pieces here that I really want to use if possible today this little piece here and these here first thing I want to do is I didn't really like this very much so we're gonna push that back just a little bit we don't have to get it to go away completely because I don't mind some of it poking through. So take our key card and just put some gesso, kind of wipe it back. And I do want a little color on here. So I'm gonna take a color from in here and use it. And I think I want this little color here. And it's not really blue, it's not really green. I don't know what color to use. Uh, I don't have anything that really matches it. So we'll go with spa blue, maybe a little bit of this Victorian green, and see if we can get it to kind of be a little bit like that. And I carried it a little bit over to this page. That's kind of cool, I like it. Just a little bit, let's put a little bit right there. Aha, that's great. Okay, I'm gonna dry this. All right, next thing I think I want to do is take this scrap and I want to tear off a piece, kind of jagged tearing. And I want to glue it right here at the bottom because I think I want to use this piece here as a little vase and I want this little piece to kind of be the bottom of the vase. I don't like that straight edge. Let's try it without a straight edge. I like that. We're gonna glue this down. I might glue this at the top of the page. I don't know. Let's go ahead and glue that up top, just for the fun of it. Now, I wanted to use this as my flowers. I just was going to tear out around a flower and see if I liked it. If we don't like it, I don't know what we're going to do because I don't have a backup plan. <laughs> I'm going to tear off any straight edges, even if it tears into the flower. And I want another one. looking pot. Let's glue down our flowers. I like that right there. Okay, now I'm going to put in my stems, but what do I want them to look like? I know what I want to do. When you buy tags, they come with a string at the top, and I always remove the string and save them for other things because I don't like them on the tags usually. So I have a couple in the scrap pile from our project, and I'm going to use the strings as stems. So I'm going to cut me some stems out of string. And yes, the pot's going to be a little bit bumpy because I am going to leave it under the pot. I'm not going to try to go to the edge of it, but that's okay. I might leave string hanging off the bottom of the page too. Just might. I'm use a little wet glue and make a little line for my string. of my pot right, right there. Looks like the little stems are growing out the bottom. It needs to be repotted. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to distress around the edges of this first though. I didn't do these but I'm going to do this. So I'm going to use my distress ink. Use the walnut stain. And while I have it out I'll just do a little bit on my pieces up here and down here.
So now we're gonna glue our pot on. I'm gonna use wet glue for the pot just because I've gotta go over some string. I really want it to stay down. And this is Aileen's tacky glue. And then I'm just gonna glue this down. All right, I need a little bit of, I don't know, leaves or something. And I kind of like the little, just splotches. So I have to decide on that. Maybe, maybe I could use the scrapbook paper as my leaves. I don't know. I'll make a decision about that and then let you know. But right now, what I want to do is decide where, if, if at all, I'm going to use these little pieces. I really like this little piece of lace. And I thought I would just glue it to the edge of the page there as like a little tab. This, hmm, maybe I should use that instead. Maybe I won't use this, maybe it's too much. I like it right there, but that's a lot of string. I can take the string off. Let's check it out. Kind of like that. It's like a, the decoration on the pot. You know, pots come decorative. That could be there. And then this could be my little tab. I like that. And this, hmm. I think we'll leave that alone and we won't use it today. Okay, it goes back in the pile. Let's just go ahead and glue this down, just for the fun of it. Okay, I decided to go with this little scrap paper here. I had a bunch of these little pieces left over and I just tore off what I needed. And I just placed them where I want them and I'm gonna glue those down. Okay, they're glued down and I'm just taking my pencil. I was gonna just stress around it, but I decided to take my pencil and just kind of go around the rough edges, just some little scratchy marks. I think that's good enough. I love it. I think it's really cute. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. All right, guys. Just a simple little page. I'm trying to keep it simple, like I said, so my book doesn't get too thick. Some of the, every time you add something, it gets a little thicker, but I really like both these pages. So I will see you later on, and I uh, hope you have a great whatever it is. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.